Hello, Internet, and welcome. I'll be your host, Frank Frankums, and I'm here with Magicums. I'm going to take this Tropical Island. I think that's the best card in this pack. By such a large margin. I, I hope this Ajani comes back uh, so that I can pass it. I kind of like it a lot, but I don't think if we take this Tropical Island, we're really going to be in the position to take the Ajani. So that's where that train of thought has come from and gone. I also like Wretched Confluence. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Sh look at this shitty assassin's trophy. <laughs> Peace out. Do you even play Abrupt Decay anymore when assassin's trophy is legal? Like, what even happens to Abrupt Decay? I th I think I just want the Tropical Island. A pet hunter after every st every pick stip. I'd have to pay you for that. He's such a he's a good boy. Right, right, Chief. When I say Chief, he knows I'm talking to him. He's like, that's my name, right? All right, well, that's good. Just move the move the curtain out of the way. Abrupt decay goes softly into the night. You didn't make it. Yeah, abrupt decay still can't be countered. Whatever that means. You nerd. I like Seagit Oracle. I like Dryad Greenseeker. I like Thirst for Knowledge a lot. It's got to be Thirst here, right? I, my problem is this isn't like the... The Vintage Cube, which has a ton of artifacts. It has uh, all the power. It has a bunch of signets. It has Grim Monolith, Metal Worker, Thran Dynamo, Worn Power Stone. So, like, there there are significantly fewer artifacts to pick up. However, that could work for us in, in the sense that we could actually discard things to reanimate. I like a Watery Grave. Maybe we're just going to do a good old-fashioned Soul Tide draft here. Looter's good, Contempt is good, Thrag Tusk is good. So I literally just kind of point out all the Sultai cards in the pack before I take this Watery Grave. Actually, I think you're right. I don't even think it has Signets in it, which is really weird. Salt Eye? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I'm on to you. I kind of like this history of Benalia, and I kind of want to take... Oh, do we just Living Death? Can we take Living Death and then, like, Thirst for Knowledge some creatures into the graveyard and then play Living Death? That sounds like gas. Let's do the Living Death deck. This is early enough to take it. And then we're, we know that shoulder is going to come back because no one actually values shoulder as high as Chad does. It does have Crymatic Lantern. I don't think that's a card, but it probably does have that. Master of the Wild Hoont, Deceiver Exarch, Hissing Quagums, Careful Study also good if we are going into that Living Death route. Ideally that Merfolk Looter comes back, but I have my doubts. I might just want Quagmire here. I want the fixing. Easy Bolt. Cheshire Pratt, you need to stop. You need Okay, I'll stop my pipe dream. And then you say Easy Bolt. I think you just lied to us, buddy. I want to take the land. Maybe? God, Deceiver Exarch's real good. I don't care. I don't care. I got to commit to these lands. Ooh, Gifts Ungiven. Oh, Necromancy? Yeah, we're going to take the Necromancy. Hmm. Birthing Pod. I think we do need some creatures in this deck. That's what I would imagine. Birthing Pod's not great without creatures. However.
I don't think we want. I don't think we're a birthing pod deck. I think we're a profane command deck. I don't know if we're a profane command deck either. Just toasty. What's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you. Uh, it's probably profane, right? Bomat Courier is a creature. I guess that's true. Fauna Shaman's actually pretty good. Bayloth. Wooded Foothills is probably the pick, though. We have Tropical Island and Watery Grave here. Oh, actually, Abrupt Decay. Yeah, I think Abrupt Decay is probably the best. Primal Command. Search for a creature. How many commands can we play in our deck? Explore? Alright, I don't love it, but... Well, nothing looks like it's coming back for us. Dark Confidant? <laughs> Not likely, but okay. We can take Angel of Serenity just to discard it. Yeah, that shoulder didn't come back. The, uh... The gifts didn't come back. My god. Oh, the Bomac Courier came back, though. What's an Assassin's Treasure? Is that a totally different card? Oh, man. We could have Pestermite and Deceiver Exarch right now. Where's the justice in the world? Also, Flooded Strand gets Tropical Island and Watery Grave. It's not bad. Oh, just toasty. I was actually just kidding with you because it's called Assassin's Trophy, not or Atta Assassin's Trophy, not Treasure. Or uh, Sea Monk. I was actually making fun of Sea Monk. Not. I I, I know what the card is. I was just... It's not Assassin's Treasure was the joke. I'm tempted to take this Eternal Witness. I bet Gonti comes back. Eternal Witness is probably not coming back. Animate dead. Hmm. There's just not enough big creatures in this, in this format. Yeah, I'll take the Animate dead. It's not Kiora or Reclamation Sage. I don't think it's Counterspell either. We're actually not very heavy blue right now. Oh, Treachery? What in the earth? Ojutai for discard? What? How does Ojutai discard? Oh, to discard it? Yeah, I'm just taking Treachery here. <laughs> That's not reasonable. Bitter Blossom, Noble Hierarch, Creeping Tart, two, two on-color lands, Sword of Body and Mind, Doom Blade. This pack is... Can I just take, like, six cards out of this pack? Both lands, Archmage, Bitter Blossom, Sword, and Noble Hierarch. Can I just take those six? I will also take this, this, and this. I'll take nine cards out of this pack. I'm pretty sure it's sort of body and mind. <coughs> or Glenelange or Archmage. <coughs> Excuse me. Archmage is too good not to take, I think. Tree Speaker is very, very good. I think we might just want the breeding pool though. Like the fixing lands are going to be real strong here. Maelstrom Pulse also very good. I'm just going to take breeding pool, especially because we just emphasized our. Gr oh, Garrick! Someone's going to be, someone's going to be thrilled about that. I know there's going to be a chat guy who's like, "Yes, we took Garrick. I'm so grateful." And Tomb seems friggin' perfect, so that we can just take advantage of Necromancy and Ancient Animate Dead. Um, if Fertile Ground, Acidic Slime, or even Nicol Bolas comes back, I might take Nicol Bolas because all we need is a red. But we're going to take this in Tomb. That's a good sword. This is also a good Hinterland. This is a good land. I'm pretty sure it's Sylvan Library here. Sylvan Library is just very, very strong. 
Oh, Drawn Catacombs came back. So did the Pestermite. I don't care about Read the Bones. I'd rather just make sure our land is very, very good. Yeah, I'll take that. Drawn Catacomb also very good with Breeding Pool, Tropical Island, and a Watery Grave. So, Oh, well, I like this Kiora a lot, actually. This Kiora is not incredibly hard to, uh, to get the emblem from. Yeah, we'll be playing. We'll be playing that QR for sure. Jade Light Ranger, Trigon Predator. I think it's probably Trigon Predator. I like Trigon Predator a lot better. Oh wow, Bitter Blossom came back. Maelstrom Pulse came back. I'm extremely uncomfortable right now. This is not an okay this is not an okay number of cards to have come back. All right, I think this guy's fine. I also like, despite the meme that Sultai is like my favorite color combination, and it is, I really don't think I draft Sultai that frequently. I mean, within Tomb, all we really need is one or two big guys to throw in the yard. What creature do you want to open for Entomb? Crater Hoof. <laughs> Crater Hoof's also not great because, like, you, it's turn one, it's not great, but you can, like, turn turn eight Entomb, Crater Hoof, get Crater Hoof back for free. For, like, two mana, three mana. That's pretty nuts, though. I'm pretty sure it is Crater Hoof here. And ideally, this Mystic Snake or this Underground Sea come back, but I don't think so. I think we're just taking the Greater Hoof, though. Sword of Fire and Ice is one of my favorite swords. Ulamog is pretty nuts. Woodfall Primus, also pretty insane on turn two. Oh, this pack is very good. It's one of these three, I think. I don't like Ulamog because it's not, like, you don't get the cast trigger. I, I'm pretty sure I'm leaning towards Woodfall Primus, especially within Tomb. Mole Drifter. Irreverent Sh uh, Amp, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Hymnotorx good, but I don't want to commit to the double black. Roof Soul is nice, but we don't actually have to go that heavy blue. Mole Drifter is probably the pick here. I thought Nissa is very, very good. I just think Muldrifter is probably better. Especially when we have things like uh, Animate Dead or Necromancy. That is a mana rock. I don't think we care about it, though. I'm not just going to think Muldrifter. Woodland Cemetery? Oh, Vivian Reed is amazing in this cube, I think. Being able to kill flying creatures, enchantments, and artifacts is just ridiculous. I like Recurring Nightmare, but... God, is it Recurring Nightmare? We don't actually have that many creatures is my problem. We have Bitter Blossom, which is great. But, like, outside of that, like, we don't really have that many creatures to get back. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, if we don't get Bitter Blossom, our Recurring Nightmare is not very good. I think you guys are overstating Recurring Nightmare right now. Like, it's just not... I don't think it's great. Like, we get back Woodfall Primus or, like... And, like, we have to also have these creatures in our hand. I don't think we're a Nightmare deck. I think Vivian Ree is just a much safer pick. I also think Virtuous Gear Hulk's pretty good. Malicious Affliction's probably the pick, though. Um, I think this is going to win us way more games than Recurring Nightmare. I'm also not a huge Primal Command fan. I'm going to put that guy in the sideboard for now. I'm 
My neighbor just started streaming, so I'm going to watch him for a bit. Thanks for the... Hey, pernicious dude. No problem, buddy. Have a good night. Always a pleasure, sir. It's either Chaney's Edicts or Malicious Affliction. Actually, Virtuous Gearhook's not terrible. Just put the counters on this guy or... Yeah, I'm going to take the Gear Hulk here. We always get wrecked by Gear Hulk, so it's nice to actually have a Gear Hulk and not have to worry about, you know, getting wrecked by Gear Hulk. Dread Return. Entomb this guy, Thirst for Knowledge this guy, get get it back. Even getting Gear Hulk or Muldrifter back is pretty fine. I also don't think this is terrible when we have Bitter Blossom. We only have one way to make white outside of. Actually, actually, outside of nothing. Like, we just have Fertile Ground to make white, so I'm not in love with... I'm going to take the Dread the dread Return here. Overgrown Battlement is okay. I don't think Gilded Lotus is where we want to be. Sort of Light and Shadow could be good. I don't care about Drana or Overgrown Battlement. I'll just take the Sword just in case. Oh boy, do I like a Dismiss. I don't think we need Wicker Brow Letter because we have Abrupt Decay and Vivian Reed so far. I think I just want the Dismiss. I'm a huge Dismiss fan. Oh, and we get the Mystic Snake back and a Kodama's Reach. <sighs> Farseek. Probably better than Explorer in this deck. Wow, Chromatic Lantern came back. That's pretty cool. I'm going to take the Chromatic Lantern and probably find a way to play that. Oh, Woodland Cemetery. Oh, my goodness. I don't want Buried Alive just because we don't have enough ways to to really take advantage of it. Eh, Maloku's not terrible. All right. Explorer can come out. Dread Return can come out. I was literally thinking Necromancy and Instant Speed is just a counter spell for uh, Mystic Snake. We have no discard spells, so opponents won't get salty. Oh, you're just going to be that guy, I see. <laughs> I almost don't like Thirst here. Like, we have Entomb. What else do we have to get? We have Fauna Shaman and Entomb, which I think are just better. And we're not really hurting for card advantage. Yeah, I think we're good without the Thirst for Knowledge. It's usually just... It's usually just going to be draw three, discard two. Decay does actually seem kind of meh. Which is weird, but maybe it's true. Actually, I think Chromatic Lantern is probably more med than Abrupt Decay, right? Like, what do we need the Lantern for, really? We already have Fertile Ground and Farseek. Farseek can get us a Tropical Island or Water Grave, which is super great. So this makes one cut. Let's move everything back to its place. This, this deck looks sweet. It looks like there's a lot of answers for a lot of things, which I am excited about. Androfight, why do you have to make a 778th account? I don't get it. <laughs> we have to make one cut. A 
Uh, we don't need far seek, but I do like being able to ramp to four, especially when we have very, very good four drops. I mean, it's the same reason we have fertile ground. Profane command is very, very good. Profane command, getting an eternal witness back and killing something is pretty huge. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That one guy, 777. I can do 41 cards. I'm game. All right, let's, let's do this mana thing. Oh, two, two of everything. That's nice. Okay. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine green. I'm okay with that. One, two, three, four, five, six black. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, seven, six. Okay. With a far seek and a fertile ground. Hmm. We actually get one more card. We have a lot of double blue. Mystic Snake, Dismiss, Treachery. We can just add another blue, I think. We might not need Trigon Predator, but I think it's very useful to have. We do also have Vivian Reed. We also only have nine creatures, which goes down to eight, but Blitter, Bitter Blossom is a creature. So is Treachery, so we're actually at ten. Garrick makes creatures, so it's kind of like eleven. If we took out the Trigon Predator. Hmm. I mean, if we had a sword, I could see playing this guy. Let's just cut it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just cut it. We have Vivian Reed, Abrupt Decay, and Maelstrom Pulse to deal with the uh, problematic enchantments or artifacts. So I'm not too concerned with needing that ability. And if we had a sword or like a Jitte, I would definitely keep it in just so we can equip it. But as it stands, it's fine. Snap keep. What if we top deck and entomb? That'd be pretty sick, right? Bitter Blossom into entomb into necromancy. I totally did get a Spider-Man PS4. Uh, Walmart had them. There was like a 30 minute window where Walmart had some available. I pre-ordered it. It was free shipping. It was good times. Bitter Blossom seems pretty good against the black deck. All right, get to keep abrupt decay up. You should show it off. I'm not sure how to do that. Hold on, I might have a way. Anyway, oh, he's going to yield to this. I don't really see us. Uh... Oh, where's the blue mana? I think the unboxing would have taken all of like two minutes. It's just the PlayStation 4, but maybe, maybe I underestimate that. Incoming Hellrider.
Crater's Claws to the face for three. Well, that makes me feel pretty awkward. Uh, I'll play pretty much anything that's good. Uh, if it gets an 80 or higher, I will usually play it. Last game we played, we're going through Uncharted. Yeah, uh, that's very good. That's very good. Yep. This is a good, this is a good, a good thing. Lucky, 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 lucky. I added a blue land as well, didn't I? <laughs> okay, we're having a good time. Should I take it out of my opponent? Of course you hit a bonfire when I literally can't hit any blue mana. Oh boy. All right, can they deal us four damage before next turn? Let's find out. This is when the rain comes. Literally played four cards. Incredible. Seven life seems relevant. Sort of light and shadow seems relevant. Kiora can go. Well, that was fun. Guys, have we seen the new black green instant card? I don't think we have, I don't think we can take out. All right, I'm gonna take out these two. Maybe, nah, it doesn't matter. I just, I don't know what to take out. Like I, I, I don't really want to take out Bitter Blossom because it's very, very good. Why are we not drawing any blue lands? I don't really understand. Gunner, the joke is that we've all seen it and we've all talked about it like six different times. They bring in Relic because they saw one Necromancy. I like it. Is Woodfall Primus triple green? Yeah, alright. So we're going to get a tropical... Actually, we'll get a breeding pool. Scooby -doo 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 -doo. I will exile it. You got it.
You got it. Second blue would be nice, but again, no such luck. You can kill this, deal them three. It's probably just better to not do that. No, a relic now! I'll relic right this second! Okay. Second blue at any time. Yeah. Oh, kill your land. It's amazing. Look at what I did. Okay, you got it. Congratulations. Relic right now again. <laughs> Free combat relic. Okay. Different phases. We're going to use relic at different phases every time. Every time. Sometimes it's end step. Sometimes it's post combat. Sometimes it's. Hmm. How nice. No. Okay. I guess I'll block. Where is your maelstrom pulse now? I have to just gain seven here. Search for a creature card. I don't care about putting this guy back. It's just not a big deal. I actually kind of like Gear Hulk here. Hmm. Fascinating. I think it's Gear Hulk or Muldrifter. Those are our decisions. I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm hoping that, uh, Kayers, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I'm guess I'm just hoping we're just hoping for no Massacre Worm because then we take, 10, go to 13, and they have 6, six 5, and uh, Sarkon, the Dragon Speaker, on board. Okay, so no Mask Worm, obviously. Sure. Let's talk about how awkward eternal witnesses when they just have turn one relic in cube
what did they they took profane command That's interesting. All right, they have two cards in hand. It's not bad. This is their window that they can play Massacre on before we dismiss it. So let's see if we take eight. Oh, Dreadbore. Okay. Deal. They have one card. Seems good. I'm actually just going to take four here because we can kill the Sarkon next turn, so... Can someone help Kyers uh, explain the Twitch subscription on mobile situation for your for your fearless leader here? This is your last card. Sure, I'm not going to counter that. I am out of drank. Like you know, we have dismiss. So, fire off that Vrasco, that that mask worm, Verasiker worm. Yeah, it's funny. We'd be dead right now if we didn't have uh, Verasca or <laughs> Bitter Blossom. God, I'm just gonna say Verasca for everything. Oh, looks like looks like Eternal Witness just got some value, boys. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're only gonna have eight mana. Um Put you on top, and we'll put you on top of that. Yeah, we're definitely not taking down our dismiss shields here when they have things like bonfire and massacrum. We're not going to search yet because we want the cards. Uh, that are there. Does that make sense? We could have actually paid four life and maybe we're just going to win next turn with Crater Hoof. Actually, we took Crater Hoof out, didn't we? Ooh, the sadness is real. All right, I guess we're just going to slow and steady this bad boy. Sort of light and shadow is probably going to seal the deal, right? Thank you. One, two, three. Kyers, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Glad you got that figured out.
I think these guys are finally here mowing our lawn. They were supposed to come Friday, then they were coming Saturday, then they were coming from Sunday, and now they're just like, oh. We're just going to attack with these guys. We're not going to equip because, again, we're not taking our dismiss shields down for, for pretty much anything. I don't feel like getting hit with a bonfire for eight and losing all our guys with the Bitter Blossom out. We're just not going to win that race. I don't actually care about this guy, I don't think. One slow and steady book. All right, so what do we have? We have Vivian Reed on top. Yeah, we're just going to draw Vivian Reed. If we hit a land, we're also going to get the land. Because again, dismiss. God, still no land. Frustrating. So one thing we can do is entomb for something and get it back with sword. We're going to keep two guys back. And we got a free Mystic Snake. Seems good. Get on top. I will double block. They also have Rakdos Return. So they have Massacre and Rakdos Return and, uh, you know, the other one. Bonfire of the Damned. So. We actually could have left those guys alive and just killed them this turn, but. I don't care, you see. <laughs> yes, always be shamaning. Um, put on top, put on top. Mm-hmm. Read, read. Kill you. Oh, the sword life gain is quite good and, and in no no way inconsequential. Actually close this window real quick. Just because it's getting late and it's weird that like my window's just wide open. I will use the ability to gain life. I don't know if that's what you meant. This game is pretty much over. Predator could probably come in now. We, do, we actually still didn't see many targets for Erupt Decay. SD Common Cole, what's going on, buddy? Long time, uh... We, we see each other rarely now, I feel. Freebooter also seems pretty good here. Uh, I like Garrick because you can uh, create, you can destroy creatures and gain life, which is super relevant. I'm going to keep this hand because we finally get a blue mana in our opening hand. Mm 
Lotus Cobra Emrakul Modern deck. Which which one? The the Summoning Trap deck? It's both on my Patreon and it's on YouTube, so you can find it in multiple places, my friend. Turn two Bitter Blossom every game seems good. Bob's Cleric, what's going on? Long time no see, buddy. My schedule has not changed. It's still been 2 p.m. I was gone for a week. I was on vacation, but... Sword of Light and Shadow with a Bitter Blossom out seems pretty good. I like this always turn two with the P-Face. I like that we're just having a good time here. That's nice. Get on top. I wish I got more drink. Mistakes were made. Definitely guilty what's going on. Oh boy, I'm just gonna yield to this guy. I hope they didn't bring any artifact removal. Oh yeah, give me them lands all day. Oh, I guess this guy can't attack, so they don't have haste. Never going to put anything in the graveyard. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, man, we're just in the friendly queue. It's no big deal. It's just a two-man queue, man. You don't have to, uh... You don't have to emphasize my death, okay? Just play your, play your deck, I'll play mine, and we'll have a good time. Oh, Firebolt killing a Bitter Blossom token. That... Oh boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sword of Light and Shadow Online. Just a quick heads up for anybody watching. Tomorrow night is going to be a later stream. Me and Mike B are going to be doing one at around 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are going to be playing a commander deck that we are going to be creating on stream. Thanks to a... A uh, donation from Doomsday1981. So we're also going to be playing against people in the stream or in the chat if you guys are interested in playing uh, along with us. So. They missed a land drop? They missed two land drops? Wow, I feel like at that point you cracked this relic. This is some greed. We're just going to play this guy. If they want to kill it, that's fine. I guess we should have equipped, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, and they lost a Firebolt? And now our Eternal Witness and our Necromancy are just like... Little uh, little little chef's kiss there. I would one hundred percent buy an original Frank Bor. Oh, you're dead. T-shirt. Good game. You're dead. Some of the uh, preferred commanders are. Let me take a gander at these commanders. Some of the... Uh, Doomsday said some of my preferred commanders are... Uh, Nekusar, Aloro, Atraxa, and Arcades the Strategist. So... Discard two, huh? I'm going to discard Eternal Witness and Maelstrom Pulse because we can just get the Eternal Witness back. Oh, mother of God, that's good. Oh, this match is so good. For us. Boink! Seems good. Seems good. Uh, okay. Deal.
I accept. Bonfire? For, I mean, we know we're doing it. Yeah, this is brutal because now we can just get this back with Sword of Light and Shadow. Oh, God. We could just let it resolve, but, like, why? What is this? Infinite Archmages? Oh, man. This is not fun for anybody involved. Oy vey. Do I feel dirty yet? I feel dirty for a while now. Good gamels. Oh, unless they kill us right now. Oh, nope, not doing that. What if they good gamed us and then like angered and we were just like, oh, I'll just F6 because the game's over. And then they're just like, hey, hey, your board's dead. And I'd be like, oh, no. Wouldn't matter. We'd still have Bitter Blossom and Sword, which is fine, but... Small fan, by the way. Nice. I love it. All right. We did it. That one spinning bit. And there's some pulsating bits at the very bottom, if you guys can see them. Give me, like, two seconds. I'm going to go grab a drink. It's going to be less than a minute. Okay, I don't know how long that was, but I don't think it was that long. Get on top. Can you take out the damn trash bits already before you get bit flies? Hey buddy, listen. They're still good, there's still some good meat on those bits. I tried to check out Artifact, but I could not get a beta code. If anyone wants to send me a beta code for Artifact, I will gladly accept. I will play first. I like this hand a lot. I'm going to keep it. Zaxor88? Medium fan. Zaxor, you better not be in the chat, you sneaky biscuit. So here's the thing. I'm not excited about the new Tomb Raider, but I feel like the last one if I read the reviews correctly, was very good. So maybe I should be.
medium fan. Medium fan is the most uh, the most false statement Zaxor could have given. Wait, why? I don't want to look at your deck. Go ahead, man. Look at my deck. I dare you. Uh, no, man. I'm good. Go ahead. Look at it. Take a peek. No, stop trying to force me to look at your deck. I'm really uncomfortable right now, Mr. Stark. Hmm. Oh, very well. Oh, I like a fertile ground a little bit better, though. I'm going to pay four here. Do, 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 do. Next turn, Vivian Reed. Oh, I didn't even see this guy come suspend. God, I hate when they I hate how they do that. Oh, fertile and ground. You're correct, man. That's how you can tell the true fans. They know the, they know all the fertile and ground memes. All right, we got you, and one of these cards better be a land. Or so help me. Um, I'll put you on top. Put on top. Do they have a counter spell? That's the question. I guess we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Hissing Quaggums. I'm going to take this Woodfall Primus. I think it's probably uh, the strongest card of those three. Into the Royal. Ba wing Nope. Okay. 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 Oh, that's such a good girl. One, two, three, four. We could pay eight and keep both. I don't think we have to do all that. I think we just want the land here. Yeah, we're going to put this guy on top. We're going to take the land. And we're going to sneak the uh, the Mystic Snake into the hand. Ooh, Glenelinger Archmage. You're a thing, too. Hmm... Is hand or battlefield? Oh, it's battlefield. Well, stinkums. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll give him the old QQ. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if we hit another land next turn, we can go Eternal Witness, get back Snake. That seems good. That's not how Mystic Snake works. I got them confused, and now I feel worse about my choices. All right. Well, that's sad. God, there's so many count there's so many like triggers when the suspend thing happens. I think it's still fine. Our hand is still gas. 
We have six lands, so we can go to seven here. Wow, that would have been so good, though. I feel better about our decision already right now. Yikes. Oh! Put you on top. You don't land one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. Yeah, I think we're just playing Vivian Reed. Is he get Planeswalkers? Creature or land. Okay. Okay. We only have seven lands, so we're not going to be able to play Primus here. I'm pretty sure we just slam Vivian and, and kill the this guy. Yeah, put you on top. One, two. And I assume there are no blue-black haste creatures. I'm just going to play this tapped and attack you. How do you feel about Assassin's Trophy? Can someone command us? Yep, that is fine. Put on top. Vivian Reed is some serious value, guys. Uh, we're going to go one, two, add a blue, three, four, shut the door. Play Kiora. You want some aura? Negate this dude. It's kind of rude. And we'll just pass. We get abrupt decay. Look at that beautiful chicken. His deck seems good, what we've seen. We've seen Obliterator, Riftwing, Hypnotic Spectre, and Baleful Strix. All of these cards are, are good. Um... Our deck seems cooler, though. <gasps> well, then. I'm just going to keep the Treachery in hand. It's just a very strong card. I don't know if you guys knew about Treachery. What you guys know about Treachery? Uh, I think we just want the land here. We're going to try to ultimate some things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Well. Oof. Rude.
We have three blockers for this guy. Thank you. No scad. Thank you so much for the eight months of in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Here's an idea. Y'all ready for this? We're gonna get some next level, some next level things on here. C -c -c counter spell. Man, I would love to play that card in standard. You just have like scarab gods and infinite assassins trophies. I guess this is just fine. I'll just block with this with this chumbo wumbo here. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. That's Chumbawamba. Those guys are tub thumping. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh. Oh my god, are you guys ready? Y'all ready for this? Don't do it. Put on top. Put on top. Emblem me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I think I just want Unleash the Krakens! Is it unleash or release? I can't tell. I said unleash. Someone else said, no, we got an unleash and a release in the, in the chat. I think we're just going to crater hoof this turn and hope it doesn't get countered, I guess. You can get this back. That seems fine. It's cube, so I'm not really... I'd rather be safe than sorry. I think they're gonna reanimate the Riftwing Cloudscape. Yep, that seems fine. Uh, Trumpetta Token, uh, you can, you can do that so long as it has enough loyalty, right? Like, so this says negative eight, you get an emblem with creatures you control. If she has nine loyalty and you negative eight, she will stay at one. No ability on a planeswalker ever destroys the planeswalker. It's just usually the, the most expensive, so you usually use them as soon as you can. Yeah, okay. Boy, Vivian Rhee is really getting bounced a lot, but I guess that's okay. Do we just hope he doesn't have mana leak and then go for the crater hoof here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, actually, now we can keep up. Never mind. We're fine. And 
one, two, three. Y'all ready for this? Crater hoof. Kraken's into crater hoof. Really? You're not going to let me... You're not going to let me deal, deal the damage? That ain't right. What did we see? We saw Baleful Strix, Hypnotic Spectre, Phyrexian Obliterator, Gonti, Missa, uh, Liliana, rather. Pro Black Sword seems pretty okay. How dare. No time for that. <laughs> oh boy. Um Profane Command is nice because it's one of the few answers we have to an obliterator. I'm just gonna submit with sword. I think it's fine. I think you were a very good looking man. I like the salt and pepper. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Gear Hulk does look like the weakest card, but Gear Hulk is unassumingly very, very strong. This hand looks pretty okay. It's all about making use. Um, I accept. I accept. Yeah, our stream went a little longer today because uh, our round... We played a few extra matches in Modern for the fun of it. And then our first cube draft, our opponent... Uh, one of our opponents literally made us time out because they're uh, kind of a scumbag. Oh, that was a good hit. I like that we're gonna have this dismiss right on time. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Look at that beautiful mana base. This time we're probably definitely going to try to counter this guy. Ooh, that's fine. I don't think you have that many artifacts. I'm going to call and think you discard two cards here. This does not seem like an easy choice.
Volra Stronghold and Demon Lord Bells Unlock. From a graveyard? <laughs> oh, we're going to be bells and locking, boys. Bells and lock and load over here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I would be... I would be more excited for... Uh, for Venom if it looked better. <laughs> also, we can't do Necromancy now because otherwise they just bounce the, the Bells Unlock, which is pretty, pretty gas. Bell Schnickel. All right. Let's do this correctly. Suspend. This is a trigger. All right. Now the creature is on the stack. We didn't see any counter spells from you the first game, but we also didn't see any white mana. And now you have a counter spell and white mana. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, they're going to bounce our land, so now we get to go. We can, I guess we can go Bell Schnickel, play Tap Land, and then that's pretty good. No, well, that's unfortunate. And you hit a land. Wait, did you not play land? Oh, I like that. Maybe I just kill that guy now. Yeah, we're doing that. Next turn. We'll bell schnickel next turn. Oh, not my bell schnickel! Oh, our Bill Schnickel dreams are going down the drain. It's okay. We'll just draw a turn of witness. It's all good. Oh, Bill Schnickel lives. Oh, our Bill Schnickel dreams are still alive, you see. To me, Bell Schnickel. Oh, we just drew like 19 cards, man. Oh my god. I was thinking they probably didn't think that. They're just like, oh, you have no cards in your graveyard, so you can't play Bell Schnickel. You can't play Necromancy. Or they want us to do it and they want to bounce it, but we got a lot of value out of that. Okay, that's fine. Obliterator? No, because you got a blue here. Oh, can they? Do they have Obliterator and they just can't Obliterator because they have Tundra? Oh, Zaxor, is that what's happening right now? I mean, we take four and go to eight when we have Bitter Blossom out. That's kind of rough, but we also have Treachery, so we can steal something. We can't because they have Archmage, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can just go Moldrifter here. I'm going to go to eight cards, though. I don't love that. I also like keeping Mystic Snake up, but I also don't want to die, so... Probably just discarding a forest here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't really care about Fauna Shaman that much. I just don't want to die to our own Bitter Blossom plus Bell Schnickel. 
because that would be sad. Oh, all right. I don't hate that. Just this guy, huh? I will trade. Fertile in ground. One card. I wonder if they're going to Archmage this. No. I guess we should have attacked the sore in there to try to kill it. This is why we kept both forest in hand so we could actually cast this guy. Uh, if we treachery archmage, they have to sack it, but then they just get another. It just comes, it just comes back. Aggressive. Well, we have to block, so we're going to do that. They might have had Soren when they tapped out for four, and they just didn't want to tap out because of Glenelander Archmage, which makes sense. But now we have Mystic Snake, which is super nice. Oh, wow. Well, we're definitely saving that guy. Does Entomb do anything here? Not really. So we can actually put both of these back. Let's get the job done. One, two, play Fertile Ground on here. If you want to counter that, you can. Eh, we'll just keep up Mystic Snake here. We can easily block the Glenelanger Archmage. They have two cards in hand. I'm pretty sure we could just win this match. That's unfortunate. Put it on top. Well, they just sacrificed that. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have Mystic Snake Mana.
I'm just going to pass here. Oh no. What's happening? Instant speed. Thirst for knowledge? Cyclonic rift. Two blue. Yikes. That would have been terrifying. But maybe not really, because, like, I mean, we would lose Bitter Blossom. We'd lose a bunch of two mana stuff. We have a bunch of mana. I feel like we let our. Ooh, how is this happening? Lucky, 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 lucky. Like, they had Island and Ugin, so they either drew the, the eighth land they needed to play Ugin, or they drew the Ugin. Pretty good. <gasps> oh, Zaxor. You done messed up, hey, hey, Ron. Oh boy. Play bad get rewarded? Who got who got rewarded? Who played bad and got rewarded? Garrick's just mowing down planeswalkers, man. Quagmire does not have lifelink. You're thinking of shambling vent. Quagmire is death touch. However, this will gain us three, which puts us in pretty safe condition. Uh, Garrick's ultimate is like, target opponent gets an emblem. Whenever a creature attacks you, it gets 5-5 five, five and gains trample. So, I mean, it's it's good, but... Uh, I'm just going to grab an old drifter. He's one of us! <laughs> How about a Vivian Reed off the top? Are we just killing? Are we just mowing down Planeswalker after Planeswalker? Did I not get them all? This one. All right, we did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get Eternal Witness, I think. K 
Kitty cats. Why are you being so loud? Uh, let's get back a dismiss. I like a good counter spell. He's already dead. This guy might be coming down next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are two mana away from actually activating and playing, but I think we'll be fine. Let me swing for it. I do want to ultimate Garrick and play Crater Hoof. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> well, now we have our now we've had our fun and you got the win. And nice to my face, my idol, and my kin. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, oh man. I will give you this swing in good faith. Oh my god, Zaxor, you're amazing. I don't think the green-black removal is good. Giving a land to opponent is an upside too heavy. Yeah, I agree. That's what I'm saying. No one's listening, though. Zaxor, pass priority and wrap on your... Wrap on your... Uh, wrap while I'm deciding making... Doing things. I mean, the worst case scenario is like he has settle. He, he settles our dudes. We ultimate Garrick, so this is still a seven-seven when it attacks, and that's game, especially with sword. See you in chat and swing with all your might after I finish this rhyme. All right, we're blocking. Boop. Is there anything with haste? Because we're probably just going to play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. So we can animate dead something. So we're actually going to bounce the white just in case they have. Just in case Zaxor has settled the wreckage, just out of like random. You guys hear this cat? <laughs> the cat is singing the song of its people. Unbelievable, man. That's a big, that's a big ass bell schnickel. Oh, neg 
Well, this deck turned out pretty good. to keep this hand because we can always cycle this guy but I think uh, Vivian Reed and Dismiss are good enough here. I don't know. Zaxor, that Ugin play, buddy. That was your that was your downfall right there. Another blue mana. Another blue mana. Blue mana. Blue. Oh. Oh, it's a black card. Oh, I see. I see. Liber off the top. feeling bad any land is good because we can mold drifter but ideally we want oh crying out loud look at this idiot not our opponent the goblin rabble master okay now we got a good one I evoked come on Blue land. Wow, really? This is how you're going to do me? I thought they reanimated ours, but it turns out they did not. The counter spells aren't that good when your opponent has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage on board. Do 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 do. I'm gonna scoop that game. We are definitely bringing in Trigon Predator. I have no idea what that shark beam is. Yep, that guy can come on in. I wonder if this is a living death matchup where we just living death and then kill other things. I'm going to try it. We're going to give it a go. I like this hand a lot. Sylvan Library should smooth everything out. We also have Entomb Animate Dead, which means we can go turn three...
if we're able to go entomb into uh uh woodland wood wood fire summoner oh god what the hell woodfall primus and killer forest one black man off the top that's all i'm asking for sure come on one time we get three three hits three hits is that good enough one two put it on here no we're one shy that's stupid Well, either way, we're going to entomb Woodfall Primus. Hmm, I'm about to bust. Zaxor, 100 I let you swing bits. That appreciated, buddy. Although I feel like I should be giving you the 100 I let you let me swing bits. That might be contrary to the stream uh, dynamic, though. Baby Shark's about to bust. That's not... That doesn't seem proper. Okay. And we're still we're still fine here. It might have been more Yeah. That's really That's really problematic. We might just kill that now. We have a Trigon Predator, which is nice, but God, what do they even get now? Yeah, we're definitely killing that now. Having them, like, sacrifice their four drop, get Virtuous Gear Hulk next turn is pretty bad. Also, if we hit a land, we can, uh... Yep, that's pretty... That's pretty obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I'm about to bust. Can we do it? Let's go. Animate that duder. Yeah, this is why this is why Birthing Pod's not legal. Like Birthing Pod gets stronger the more creatures are printed. Sacrificing a rekindling Phoenix to a Birthing Pod is just not a real thing you should be able to do. In modern. Or in standard for that matter. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, Moldrifter blocks the rekindling Phoenix pretty well. This guy's obnoxious. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven mana next turn. I don't think we can win this game just because they have gone a little too a little too wide for us. I think we can safely take four here. Block you. Also, if we get Necromancy, getting back a Kitchen Finks or a uh, Mole Drifter is just fine. Yep, that guy's fine. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I like one, two, three, four, five, six, well, seven mana. We can treachery the chicken. One, two, three, four, five. They can only deal four damage. I don't wanna I don't wanna necromancy the uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I don't I don't wanna bring back kitchen finks, because then they just shoot it and then they get their kitchen finks back. That's pretty not good. Um Oh, we did it incorrectly. We were supposed to take Treachery. Treachery gets... Uh... No, that's not true. I don't think we can do both this turn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have seven mana. Oh, that's not great. One, two, three, four... Wait, why am I paying five mana? What's going on here? This guy, black, blue, necromancy on Mole Drifter. Now we get Treachery and Abrupt Decay. All right, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Blue, blue, boom, boom. So play the blue. It, was, it wasn't a punt. Like if we got the Treachery, we'd be able to steal this, but then we wouldn't have the Necromancy to play. Also, we can abrupt decay our own animate dead. Doesn't do anything right now, but. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We block four, they can shoot us twice if they have a land. Four, five, six, seven. They shoot us with just this guy. We abrupt decay this guy. And then we should be able to win five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might be able to win this game. Four, five, six, seven. Go to one. See if you got two damage in hand. Because we got nine power on board, boys. I mean, if you had a burn spell, you'd just kill me, right? So... Got him! Like you do. I 
Like, this still seems like a great living death matchup where they're just like, go wide and we'll living death it. Primal Command could also be pretty good here. Yeah, we took out the Profane Command because it just doesn't really do as what we want it to do. I think Kiora is probably pretty bad here. I like Primal Command better than Kiora. I do kind of like Sword. We'll try it with just this. Not 41, right? Yeah, 41. What's the problem? I mean, we have 17 lands, Fertile Ground, Farseek. Like, I don't think it's a problem. Check out this alternate art assassin's trophy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so I have a lot of feelings on it decreases the percentage to find your best spell. There is no best spell unlimited. Sometimes you want a way to deal with enchantments. Sometimes you want a way to deal with creatures. Sometimes you want a way to, to ramp your deck. There is no, there's no best spell at any given time. So having access to more things that do more things, especially when you have cards like Sylvan Library that can help you find those things, uh, is incredibly useful. You think that's a Johnny? Not the Ori, it's clearly Karn, buddy. Keep. All right, here it is. The final countdown. That was a great draw. I have no idea. It looks like a lion's mane to me. What? Fascinating. No rabble master. Oh, this is good. This lets us snake. And then we can uh, animate whatever they eat, whatever we snake. Oh, this is very good for us. Oh, it's less good now. Okay, it's still fine. Blue, blue, green. Yeah, all right. So we can play this. So next turn, we can, if we if we Mystic Snake, next turn we can Bitter Blossom and Animate Dead. Oh my God.
Yeah, that's not a thing I care about. I assume you'll get a siege gang. Which is fine. Jade Light Ranger. Okay. See, that's counterable. Attempted to put their land on top. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Search for a dude. Sword equipped attack doesn't get us anything right now. Like, I'm not going to gain three life just to do that. Uh, target non-creature permanent on top of its owner's library. Search library for a creature card. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, that didn't even... <sighs> okay. Um, is it just Virtuous Gear Hulk here? Actually, Eternal Witness is probably the correct player, right? Next turn we get to go Eternal Witness, um, Bitter Blossom, get back Primal Command. And I think we're in a place where we actually with Sword, we just don't care about like a lot of their threats. Siege Gang Commander? So, like, whatever they play, yeah, we knew they had the forest, so they have one card in hand. Yeah, that's fine. It's a little frustrating, but... Rashad and Port. Okay. Oh, fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess we're entombing here. One, two, three, four. I guess we could take a hit. They have no cards, right? But then they tap this and we don't have a second blue. I really wish this was a necromancy and not a... Oh, actually, we can just, we can just eternal witness it next turn, which is pretty sick. Nope, not you. Nope. Cancel. <laughs> All right, this. Add a black. Animate dead. Target Primus. Kill your Rashad and Port. And play a Fauna Shaman. And this way, now we can double block here. You get one attack here. Now we have Eternal Witness. Get back Mystic Snake or Primal Command, which is pretty, pretty powerful. We also have Sword of Light and Shadow to get back Mystic Snake. Seems good. I like Entomb Treachery, but then they have they still get Rashad Import and they can just tap down our island, which keeps us off two green. Two blue rather. So not ideal. 
Yeah, I don't care about that. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I like Eternal Witness followed by Mystic Snake, I think. Bitter Blossom. E-Witness, getting back Mystic Snake because it's a hard counter. So it gives them like one turn to do anything. I don't like Sword Equip Primus because I don't want to give them free attacks with Primeval Titan. Like if we attack with Primus, like we can get back Mystic Snake that way, but then they get a free attack with Primeval Titan. So... Yeah, now we just keep Mystic Snake up forever. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven mana is pretty good because it lets us cast. We're gonna use you first, blue, blue. So now I have blue, blue, green, black. Yeah, sure. I get no point of ever taking down the Mystic Snake shields in this matchup right now. And we also have Fairy Rogues to start equipping Sword of Light and Shadow too. Yeah, now we're definitely blocking with Eternal Witness because we can just keep getting it back with Sword of Light and Shadow, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, that's unbeatable, I think. And it led to a pretty sweet 3-0. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.